Welcome, everyone, to another match tonight here at Jack of All Trivia. Who am I? I'm the villain known as Haven, the most hated man in the trivia leagues. And, of course, I am joined today by my NWO brother, James. What's going on, brother? What's going on, Haven? I'm glad to be here, ready to get this match started and see who takes another step to becoming a badass in this league. Let's see if they got right. to take up to the NWO. If not, we'll just back him back down. All right, all right. And we got – uh. We do have one returning player. He hasn't played in a while. I'm glad to have him back and a debuting player. So, James, would you like to interview these gentlemen before the match starts and see what their mindset is? Absolutely. You know, I would. And let's start with Matt uh, with a record of 1-0. and oh. Matt, how are you feeling going in this match tonight? I know it seems like it's been a while since you've played. Are you a little nervous, ready to get in there? What's going on? Yeah, I've been looking forward to getting back at the ring over here. I mean, I really I really love playing over here. It's a nice, relaxed atmosphere. We'll just move your fans and come and have fun. So, I'm looking forward to it. All right. You feel like you got a pretty deep well of moving on to draw from? You feel like there's anything that's going to trip you up? What kind of – give us a little insight into your, you know, your kind of uh, pros and cons, whatever your, your specialities are, if you will. I, I feel like I got a good broad general knowledge of the trivia and stuff. Some, some of the some of the more nuanced stuff can trip me up, and I know the uh, round two is a lot easier when you're watching than when, when you're actually playing it. Very true, very true. That round two, much like in the actual Schmodown itself, is a make or break moment. So, uh, well, I'm happy to have you. See see how you do today. Well, let's move over to Ryan. Ryan, how are you feeling? As I believe this is your, you, you, this is your first time playing. Are you a little nervous, a little excited? What's going on? Uh, I'm a lot excited. You know, it's uh, there's not a lot of trivia in Dayton, Ohio, so this is the extent of it. And I like movies, so it's nice to put some of this knowledge to use, but God help me, there's There'll be an actor, and I will. It'll be one of the actors that I just don't enjoy, probably. And it'll. I'll just be a big old squadouche. Let's be fair. It's Ohio. There's not much out there to be doing it anyhow. But honestly, it, it's just amusement parks, man. If you don't like, if roller coasters aren't your thing, it's boring. Absolutely. If you had to pick, let's say there's a a dream category you would hope for in, in a match like this. What would what would the, be the one category? Prey comes up. Um. If I get anything comic book movie related, I've seen almost everything for the last 10 years, and I keep going back to the older stuff, so that knowledge keeps getting better. Uh, if Stanley Kubrick pops up, that'd be cool, because I love Kubrick, so those are the two big ones for me that I'll do, I, I could do pretty well in. All right, well, we wish, wish you the best of luck. I'll turn it over to my NWO brother in Haven. Haven, take it away. All right, thanks so much. All right. Round one is going to work like this, gentlemen. You're going to have eight random movie questions. When we give you the answer, or excuse me, when we give you the question, you're going to have 15 seconds to write it down. Uh, when we call your name, you're going to show us the answer and say it. So, coming to the ring first. I should have told these guys about intro music. God damn it. Anyway, all right. He is he's coming to the ring with a record of 1-0. and oh. He is Matt. Casual Chaos. I think I butchered that last name. And his opponent making his debut. He is Ryan the Reaper Duncan. Woo. Oh, man. If you could just give me a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, just playing tricks with him. <laughs> no, we can't hear it. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you guys will have four repeats and one challenge throughout the uh, game. So, Ryan, are you ready? Matt, are you ready? Do it. All right, Ryan, can we hear you? I think we might have lost your audio. Uh, looks like we lost your audio. Yeah, he's talking. We can't hear him. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, we lost your audio when you probably put the music on. It probably knocked his audio out. Uh, Nothing yet. You might have to jump out and jump back in. Uh, and probably check your settings. Depends on what... Uh, 
thing you're uh, using, it happens a lot. Uh, for some reason, sometimes it happens. Hello? Andy, you hear me now? Yep. Hear you. Sweet, sweet. We fixed it. All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, no, that's <laughs> all, no. that's glad that you, it happens sometimes when you guys, sometimes the audio just uh, doesn't click. Well, speaking of that, um, I'm sending out prayers to my buddy, Daryl. He's going through a tough time, uh, one, of, one of his friends. So, Daryl, uh, we know you'll uh, be here soon, brother. All right, question number one, guys. Question number one. <coughs> Excuse me. Comes in the category of romance. Who played Stella in How Stella Got Her Groove Back? James, uh, how many times did you see this in the theater? <laughs> Very funny. Oh, uh, you didn't. Uh, true. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice film, man. You know, go out, with your girlfriends, watch this, have some wine, and go back to the apartment, and talk shit about men. <laughs> Is that during your queer eye days? <laughs> right. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Let's go to Matt first. The Queen of Wakanda, Angela Bassett. Damn it. That is correct for one point. All right, let's go to Ryan. I couldn't remember Bassett, but I knew Whoopi Goldberg was in there with it. So oh, um, that was her best. That was her best friend. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never seen. It. I only saw the Family Guy joke where it's like, "You need to get your groove back again." <laughs> <laughs> All right, I thought that was going to be a pretty easy one for these guys. Let's go to question number two. It's going to be in action. In action. All right. In the film, Marked for Death, starring Steven Seagal, what is the name of the notorious psychotic drug kingpin that leads the Jamaican posse? This was a really good film. James, did you like this one? Uh, believe it or not, I haven't watched a lot of Seagal. Uh, I mainly focused on a long... It was pretty cool because, well, the twist was that he killed one guy, which thought was the leader, but the guy had a twin brother. And then he had all these, like, uh, he had all these, like, bumps on his chest and arms, but they almost looked like seeds, like, tattooed in his body. It was, it was pretty oh, different. Yeah, something like that. Five. One, pens down. Let's go to Ryan. Yeah, I never seen it. I just wrote Ladon. I know that's not right. <laughs> oh, sorry, that is incorrect. All right, Matt. I had no idea. I put uh, Savario. Sorry, no, that's incorrect. The correct answer was Screwface. Screwface. Screw wow. <laughs> All this right, question number three. Question number three, guys. And this is going to be in the category of. No, well, not video games. Not even comic books. Ugh, what would this be? Uh, I guess family films, because this movie uh, sh was shit. All right. In Dragon Ball Evolution, who plays Goku? Oh. This was, for any Dragon Ball fans, this was a slap in the face. Oh, yes. I don't think that guy. That is the U.S. government screwed up his mom. Yeah, I don't think that kid ever headlined another movie after this crap. I don't think he's. Thank God, uh, Chilean Fat did. <laughs> We're gonna go five, four, three, two. Ends down. Let's go to Matt first. Uh, Justin Chatwin. That is correct for one point. Ryan. No, I I didn't have it. I hate that movie with a burning passion because I'm a big old Dragon Ball Z fan. So that movie was garbage. Well, yeah, it was. <laughs> All right. Cabbage. Question number four comes in the category of uh, dramas. I need the title of the film. What film stars Kevin Costner, Robert De Duvall, and Annette Benning? What is the name of the film that stars Kevin Costner, Robert Duvall, and Annette Benning? Really underrated one. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Film. I like Robert Duvall. He he's, he's always plays a good uh, father. But 
bigger in movies. Now the Patriots want Robert Duvall too. <coughs> oh yes. We're gonna go five. Pens down, pens down. Let's see if Ryan has it. I guess Field of Dreams. I don't. That Ooh, right. No, that is incorrect. Yeah. Matt. Open range. That is correct. Mm. One point. All right, James. After four questions, where are these uh, guys at? Right now, Matt is in the lead with three. Ryan still with a. Big what was, how many? How many did Ryan have? Zero. Zero. Oh, okay. All right, your next question. Question number five, guys. Question number five because in the category of directors. In the category of directors, who directed the 1985 film The Color Purple? God. See, uh, I know this one's probably giving me for Ryan since he watched the first match of the season. <laughs> but let's see if uh, Ryan gets this one. I was surprised when I, I mean, I kind of knew who he was. I was like, oh, wow. To see him, uh, he has a big range, big range. Five. <laughs> All right, let's go to Matt. Steven Spielberg. That is correct for one point. Let's see if Ryan has it. Steven Spielberg. Or his non Mexican his non Mexican equivalent, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, gentlemen. Question number six. Question number six is going to be in the category of classics, in the category of classic films. Who played Josh Morgan slash, oh, excuse me, and Judy Tatum in the 1964 film Kissing Cousins? I got a funny story about Kissing Cousins. Don't or worry, it's not, or? Uh, not the movie itself. But I'll tell you the story later. Off air. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, what time is it? Yeah, we're, it's about that time. And this show is, of course, rated NC-17. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not what you're thinking. It's just a fun. <laughs> all right. We're going to go five. Remember, guys, you do have four repeats for the match. <laughs> One pens down. All right, let's go to Ryan. Guess in the dark, Clint Eastwood. Never seen it. Never seen it. Oh, that is incorrect. Yep. All right, let's see if Matt has it. Another guess, Jerry Lewis. Oh, no, that's incorrect. The correct answer we're looking for is Elvis Presley. Oh, boy. Elvis Presley. I, sh I probably should have put that on the musical instead of classics, <laughs> but I think all his films are classics since they were so uh, older. And he... Uh, he has a big filmography, uh, actually. He's been he starred in 31 films in his uh, life. So, James, what was your uh, – what were you going to say? I was just going to say um, there was a fun story. I, uh, me and my family went out to this uh, Italian restaurant one evening. It was me, my mother, my brother, my aunt, and my cousin. And my cousin at this point is about eight and a half months pregnant. And the waitress, you know, she's paying special attention to my cousin, looks over at me and goes, oh, are you the father? <laughs> Without missing a beat, I looked right at her and said, "No, uh, I'm her cousin. This ain't West Virginia. We don't roll that way." <laughs> <laughs> okay. nice. uh -huh. People start dying laughing, except for my mother, who reaches around my brother and smacks me in the back of the head. I was like, "What?" <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, that was funny. Uh, I thought it was gonna be more. Um, it was gonna be more. Uh, nah, you know, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. All right, guys. Question number seven, if I'm not mistaken, James. Question number seven. That's correct. All right. Question number seven comes in a category of comedies. Woody Harrison is a regular guy who adopts a superhero persona on a quest to find his arch enemy, Captain Industry, in what film? I I'll use I'll, I'll use my repeat for this one. Oh, okay. Woody Harrison is a regular guy who adopts a superhero persona on a quest to find his arch enemy, Captain Industry, in what film? 
this film and the film with Ryan Wilson kind of are yeah, similar. That's, that's kind what of. I'm thinking of right now. I'm mixing them up in my head. We're going to go five. I didn't know. One sentence down. All right, let's go to Matt first. The Defender? D Damn it. That is correct for one point. All right, Ryan? I couldn't come up with it. <laughs> Ooh, nothing. All nothing. right. Yeah. No problem. All right, your eighth and final question. Eighth and final question. And this is going to be in the category of dramas. Charlize Theron plays Josie Ames in a film about the landmark case that changed sexual harassment law in the United States. What is the name of the film? Did you see this one, James? I don't believe I did. I didn't start really paying attention to Charlize Theron until I got into like college. It was a good film, man. Like that, she she fucking acts her ass off. I believe she's one of my top five favorite female actresses because she has so much range. Her and Julia Moore, they're both like one and two for me. Man. They both have like serious range. This was another one based on a true story, like the one uh, she did, Monster Five. Three, two, one pens down. Let's go to uh, Ryan. I didn't have it. I thought it was Monster until you said that oh, at the end. All right, all right. <laughs> You're Matt. Cool. North County? That is correct for one point. Okay. All right. Uh, James, so after round one, what's the score looking at, brother? Oh, we got it. We got ourselves a slobber knocker here. Matt uh, is proving why he is at one and zero with six points. Ryan with a lot of, lot of ground to cover in round two with one point. Oh, six to one. All right, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I thought some of those questions were. Um, I, I guess they were, you know. I guess you got to watch the films to know the answers, but I thought they're you know good for round one. All right, gentlemen, round two is going to work like this. Since Matt is in the lead. He's going to pick between A, B, and C. That's going to correspond on an actor, actress, or director. Uh, once I tell you who that person is, you guys are going to go back and forth, naming the movie that person starred in or directed, one point each. And you guys are going to have five seconds each to name a movie. Um, and you do have a mulligan. If you do get one wrong, it's just going to jump to the other guy. Once you miss two, though, you are out, and the last person standing will have 10 seconds to list off six, or, six more movies for six extra points. I hope you guys uh, understood that. So, Ryan, you ready, brother? Yep, let's do it. All right. Matt? Yep. Uh, All right, A, B, or C? Uh, let's go A. A. Oh, it's going to land on the one time beloved, a uh, little controversial now. That's going to be Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. All right. And uh, anytime you are ready, Matt, we'll start with you. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That is correct for one point. Ryan. Black Mask. That is correct for one point. Matt. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. That is correct for one point. Ryan. Edward Scissorhands. That is correct for one point. Matt. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. That is correct for one point. Ryan. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man, Tell No Tales. That is correct for one point. All right. Yep. All right. Matt. Cry Baby. That is correct for one point. Ryan. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. That is correct for one point. Matt. <laughs> the Rum Punch. Which one was that? The Rum Punch. Rum Punch? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. No. It's Rum Diary. I messed that up. No, sorry. That's, yep, your time's up. That was uh, so We're going to go back to Ryan. Sweeney Todd, the, de the Demon Barber Street. Oh, it's, it's Sweeney Todd. I just can't get the rest of it out. You need the rest. Nah. Uh -uh. All right. Man. So you both, have, you both uh, have a mulligan. So we're going back to Matt. Alice in Wonderland. That is correct for one point. 
Ryan. Oh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Did he say that one earlier? No, he didn't. He did not say that one. So that is correct for one point. All right, Matt. Window. That is correct for one point. Ryan. Transcendence. That is correct for one point. All right, Matt. Nick of time. That is correct for one point. Underrated film. All right, Ryan. Does do cameos count? No. Okay. No. Do films that haven't been released yet count? No. No. Damn it. All right. I, I got nothing. One. Uh, uh. <clears throat> All right. Matt is out of round two. So, uh, excuse me. Ryan is out of round two. Sorry about that. Matt, you have 10 seconds starting now to list off six more movies for uh, six extra points. Uh, what's Eden Gilbert Grape, uh, The Ninth Gate. Um, And, and time is up. Time is up. So while James is uh, telling the scores, I'm surprised nobody said Donnie Brasco. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 based on oh, another true story. Yeah. <coughs> wow, James is uh, currently doing the score. Fun fact, Blow was the first DVD I ever purchased, and I still have the original one. Oh, fuck, that was the one I was think, trying to think of at the end there, because I really like Blow. That's a good one. It was fucking Boston George, man. That shit hit me hard. Yep. It hit me hard. All right. Uh, wow. Well, James, do you have the score tallied up yet? I'm still working on it. No problem. Yeah, I was surprised because uh, those two are uh, biopics you worked on, and both of you guys uh, didn't get those ones. But you guys did knock out the, uh, the Pirates. The pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Just reached into that well. <laughs> I only knew two of those for sure, so those are the only two I even tried to say. <laughs> There's what there's five of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of you guys did. Ed Wood. Oh, that's enough. I'm mad about the Sweeney Todd because I actually like Sweeney Todd. I would. I just couldn't remember the rest of that stupid title. Ryan, I understand. I would have given you Sweeney Todd because anybody I talk to only calls it Sweeney Todd. They don't call it Sweeney Todd the Demon Barber of Sweets. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's just me. Okay, I think I have the score here. So we have Matt with a total of 15 points. Ryan with a total of seven. Yep. Okay. No. Not too bad. He's still in reach. All right. Um, since Matt, you are in the lead. Let me get three numbers between one and thirteen, sir. Uh, nine, six, three. Nine, six, three. He went backwards and he went three uh, minus three each time. Good strategy. All right, Ryan. 13, 7, and 2. 7, 2. All right. All right. Since, Ryan, you are trailing, you're going to go first. Your first uh, question is worth two points. Your second question is worth three points. And your third question is worth five points. You pick category 13, which is going to be rom-cons. Rom-cons. All right. Ryan, this is for you. A nerdy outcast secretly pays the most popular girl in school $1,000 to be his girlfriend in what film? I think I might know this. They did a remake, I think, a couple years ago, but it was shit. I don't, got, I, I don't got it. I don't have nothing in my head right now at all. It's total blank. Whoa. The correct answer was starring um, Dempsey himself. Can't buy me love. I'm showing my youth there because that doesn't ring a bell at all. <laughs> youth is a classic film. Can't buy me love. <laughs> he's, he's a nerd and then he pays the hottest girl in school and then becomes super popular and ignores her and then when everybody le oh my god this is like the classic 80s film <laughs> all right no like judgment any. here no judgment 
All that. right. You need to hit this one to stay in the game, Ryan. You need to hit this one to stay in the game. You pick number seven. You pick number seven. And that's going to be in the category of directors. Directors. All right. I think I asked it. Ready? Wait. Mm. I think I asked it already. Give me one second to see. Okay. Shit. No. All right. I'm going to have to give you a different category. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. I have seemed like they're. Oh, here it is. I do have a director one. Yeah. All right. Who directed, Ryan, who directed the 2013 film Oculus? The horror film Oculus. About a mirror that uh, leads into the demon realm. I saw that one. Freaky as hell. Only horror director I can think of, I'll just say James Wan. Uh, all right. That's your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. That's And your winner. Matt, the correct answer was Mike Flanagan. Mike Flanagan. Mm. He was the director of Oculus. Oh, that was not too bad. But before I give my thoughts on the match, James, uh, you want to interview these guys? Sure thing, sure thing. Uh, Matt, so let's start with you. Uh, win via TKO, you're now 2 0. How's it feel? Oh, it, feel it feels great. Like, like I said, I, I always enjoy playing. Uh, Ryan with some good competition. He got, he got stuck with some some hard questions in that round three. I I, I would I wouldn't have got either of myself either. So I mean that, that that's just sometimes just luck of the draw. So well, we started with uh, we started with a very strong lead there in round one. Um, see, what, I believe the score was what six to one. I mean that's a that's a pretty wide margin. So obviously it's clear you know your stuff. Yeah. Um, how did you feel coming out of that first round with that big of a lead? Excited? Were you kind of surprised that you did that well? It, it kind of takes a little bit of the pressure off when, when you're going into round two, because round two, I mean, like I said, round two can change the game real quick. So, yeah, right. it just got lucky that a giant death. I, I know a few of his movies. I'm, I'm kicking myself. I missed some of the good ones, but you know. Oh yeah, like I said, Ed Wood was a good one. Uh, Finding Neverland, I would have went with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, all good ones. Anyhow, but um, going forward, uh, do you have your eye on any future opponents? Anybody you want to challenge? Anybody you really hoping to see in the Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty much open to any and all. It's just a question of who's next. All right. As Bill Goldberg would say, very nice. All right, let's move on to Ryan. Ryan, for your first outing out here, not not too shabby. Obviously, things could have gone better for you in round one. How'd you feel about that? Man? Uh, just unfortunately, some some movies that I haven't seen. I, I like movies, but you know, whenever you do something like this, it just shows you, like, okay, you, you think you've watched a lot. No, you need to keep watching more. I think I'm just ticked off because I forgot about What's Eating Gilbert Grapes and Blow, which are two of my favorite debt movies, and I could have said both of those. It just, they left my head for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, like I said, with somebody who's got such a, a deep filmography like Johnny Depp does, he's done a lot of, based on true stories, he's done a lot of dramas, a lot of really out there stuff. So uh, you'd be forgiven for uh, not hitting a lot of those. Were you surprised when Johnny Depp came up? Were you excited? Did you feel like you had a good depth for that? <laughs> well, it's actually kind of ironic. Just a few days ago, me and my wife were talking about Johnny Depp, and it's like, wow, he hasn't had a like a good film with him starring in it in 10 years, which is just sad because he used to be such a force. Now, he's had movies where he was in it and he was good, but not – as the lead, as the lead, the last good one was Sweeney Todd. Yeah, yeah, I can completely understand that. I mean, any any work he does with Tim Burton, aside from the Alice films, like I'll I'll watch him in any time, any time he collaborates. The Corpse Ride was a good one too. But uh, anyway, so um, coming out of this, you feel like you got a lot more homework to do. You feel like there's uh, there's some studying. <laughs> well, I mean, if anybody couldn't tell, I, I, rom coms. I don't watch them that much because my wife doesn't like rom-coms. I don't like rom-coms. I don't need to watch them because neither of us have a want to watch them. So that's my, that's to me is my biggest glaring thing is the rom-coms, man. Oof. Right. Well, lessons learned, and you can take that in your next match. Hopefully, uh, hopefully come out with a one-on-one -on -one record next time. But hey, we're all pulling for it. 
Uh, all right. Thank you. All right, Haven, let's head it back to you, man. All right. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was Patrick Dempsey that started in Can't Buy Me Love. I, I should have probably, you know, put his name in the question, but I think that would have been a dead giveaway. Um, since it's a classic. I still would have got it right, man. That <laughs> over my head. Okay, uh, let's go to James, man, uh, for being my co-host. Thank you so much. And what do you think about this match, man? Yeah, man. Like I said, uh, Matt definitely showed that he's he's got some chops here in this, uh, this uh, tournament we got coming up. Uh, he's, he's definitely going to keep his eye on. He's be a dark horse in that, I think. And Ryan, like I said, he's definitely got some, some knowledge, especially when it comes to Johnny Depp. He's able to rattle off a few of those. I feel like he'll he'll bounce back, and I feel like they'll both be, be pretty credible competitors in this league. Oh, yeah, same here. I, I think Brian will bounce back easily. You know, he played uh, really well in round two. A lot of guys, you know, for their debut don't really play too well in round two. But once they get the format down, I can see Ryan coming back and really proving himself, kicking ass. And Matt, now he's 2-0. And um, I just got to uh, keep uh, keep uh, the line going so I can get him uh, into more matches soon because I can see this guy. And uh, a couple of other guys, man, that have uh, been playing here recently. These guys really know their stuff, man. I can't wait for uh, next month to uh, to do this uh, tournament that I'm going to announce soon. You know, we'll do something next month. Uh, but uh, keep a lookout for that on the Facebook page and on, uh, and, uh, yeah, on the, in the upcoming matches. So before we head out, I want to thank my co James. Where can the good people find you, brother? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at James e. Shimo. You can find me on YouTube just at James Shimo. I do cleaning in the Jack Ball Trivia League. If I'm not mistaken – I got a match coming up tomorrow night against one Malcolm Goldie Lay in the wrestling arena. So, that. Um, I'm also my own personal YouTube channel doing Schmodown reactions, trailer reactions. Sometimes I do reactions to Death Battle. I have my own show there, Sweating It Out, where just a bunch of sweaty nerds get on there and just talk about whatever they want to do for about another hour. So, if you guys want to come on, feel free. Uh, also, for my channel, I'm actually right now at 70 subscribers. I'm trying to get to at least 100 by the end of. Uh, June. So if I'm able to do that, I will compete here in Jack of All Trivia in any league as a broken slash woken Matt Hardy kind of character. So I'm looking forward to that if any of you guys entertained by that. So uh, hopefully spread the word. Help me get to that uh, that subscriber count. Hopefully we make that happen before the end of June. Uh, also, you can find me on Schmodown All Access along with CW Chris Whitburn. We'll be putting up a new episode this Saturday. Looking forward to that. Awesome. Thank you. Another busy guy. And Ryan, um, where can good people find you, brother? Uh, you can just find me on Twitter at the Ohio Review, uh, just bullshitting. You know, that's it. I just like to get on Twitter and just BS about movies or just be in an all day conversation about a, a creating a new 90s sitcom, but yet we don't have a time machine, so the sitcom won't work now. <laughs> You, you awesome. have, it's like you have to go back in time if you want to make a sitcom how we're pitching it now. So, <laughs> All right. And Ryan, our winner of this evening, uh, excuse me, Matt, Matt uh, where can the good people find you, Matt? Uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook, I'm, uh, Instagram, BrodyMan42, uh, pretty much any league that's got some trivia going, I, I try to be a part of it. Uh, you ever in the Yorktown, Virginia area, come on by. We'll <laughs> awesome, awesome. I like that. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet back there, man. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Cool, cool. All right. And, of course, I am the villain, the one and only. You can find me on Facebook at Jack of All Trivia. Um, and that's how, uh, if you like the, uh, our Facebook page, you know, that's how we get you in matches. And you can find us on YouTube at Jack of All Trivia. And that's where you're watching us live, playing matches here. And, of course, like I said, we do have a tournament brewing that I'm going to um, – verify and uh, you know uh, break it down and, and get all the points right before i announce uh officially what's going to go down for the next two months and um uh, yeah that's going to be fun and exciting for a lot of the players here and of course i want to thank everybody that played thanks james for being my co-host and uh please pray for the children across the world good night